Home is a MyPhone Iron 3 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. So obviously you can see that device in front of me is locked and I have two ways of unlocking it either via the verification pattern or using the Google account. Let's give it a moment and it will load and show that. And there we go. So to get started with the bypass we need to go back to the first page and change the language to any kind of language that has a different keyboard like Greek, uh, Russian, this should work just as well. Okay there we go there's Greek um, and from here we want to skip through again all of this stuff till we get to the verification page. Tap on, the, tap on the field and once the keyboard shows up you want to change the keyboard to English so hold the globe icon for some reason it just went back so let's get back to where we were So once more, hold the globe icon right here, change it to QWERTY, just the second option. And from here hold it once more, go to language select right here, which is the one on the bottom. Tap right here and choose a language, uh, one, I choose one that doesn't actually have an arrow next to it. So if I go back you can see that there is some with arrows and then some with, without. So choose one without it and tap on the button right here. This will add a new keyboard to our device. From here we're gonna go back again to the beginning. Change it to English. And again, get back to where we just were a second ago. Tap on the field and again hold the globe icon, go to language settings, tap on add and find one that now has an arrow. So we need one with an arrow like this one and from here tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback and tap on the search bar right here and type in Morse code. Just type in couple or couple letters seems to do the trick, so use Morse code as I suggested, tap on it. And from here tap on the video itself. It will load it up and give us the 3 dot option right here. And from here you want to choose watch later. Now once the browser loads, let's accept and continue. Okay, and no thanks. Tap on the field up on the top and navigate to hard reset.info. Now once we're on the website, you want to tap on the three bars right here and then go to the download category. And uh, download search field. You want to type in now Android 7.1.2. 
like so and let's search and there should be only one thing so you can see bypass frp uh, android 712 and 10. so tap on download scroll down and instead of tapping on this you want to actually hold this link We'll bring up this window and from here you want to choose open an incognito tab. This will prevent any kind of problems with the download. So confirm, allow, OK and it should down start downloading app. Once it's finished uh, the details will change into open. There we go. Open it up. Now, before we can actually install, we need to go to the settings and allow Google to be actually able to install. So check this on, go back and next install. Now once it's finished installing, which should be right about now, you want to then go back and by clicking the done, which should appear right about now. There we go. Let's click on done. And go back. Go back once more. And now in the search bar, you want to now search for and uh, settings. So settings, search, and again, only one thing should show up. Scroll down, download the same way as we did before. Scroll down, there we go. Hold the option and open an incognito tab. Okay and open it up, install, and this time around once it's finished installing you want to open it up. And now that we're in the settings up, you want to go down to, gonna go to, where is it, security and location, there we go. And from here, scroll down to device uh, admin apps and disable find my device. Deactivate for this device admin app. And there we go. So now we can go back once more. And from the main setting page, we now want to go to apps and notifications right here. And then see all 33 of them on the drop down and let's see let's go to all apps and we want to scroll down to google play services and google play store on top on one of them uh, which i'm starting with google play services choose disable disable app and i think i went too far yep my bad okay and then choose google play store and disable it also and let's go back to the main settings page there we go and from here scroll down to accounts tap add account choose google and from here on now the app will be crashing and that we have installed as a first app, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, it has done its job, so we can just click anywhere and now put in your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create it, it's free. And once you create it, then use it to log in. I have one, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put in a password for it. You know, let's tap on next. So you should see the terms and services. Uh, tap on agree. And this should now finish loading in or logging in.
and again the app see, uh, shows up that it crashed doesn't matter because as you can see we have now added our Google account which without this app wouldn't be even possible so from here you want to go back to apps and notifications and re-enable the two apps that we have disabled so again show all 33 scroll down and enable go back enable and once you enable those two apps hold the power key and select restart And once more, we're back in the setup screen. So progress through it once more. And as you can see, now it shows us uh, account added and provides the info of the account that we have added. And this is where previously uh, we would be blocked by the Google to verify our well, old account. So tap on next. Now you want to progress through the setup fairly quickly. You don't want to set up anything specific. We just want to get access to the home screen at this moment. Okay, so now that we're on the home screen of the device, what you want to do is go into the settings. There we go, settings. And from here, we want to factory reset the device, which I assume is going to be in system. And reset options. Erase all data, factory reset. As you can see, uh, it gives us a message that performing this, let's record the app, uh, performing this will remove uh, our Google account, which is provided right over here. And it also will remove the previous account that is uh, still on the device. And if you would, for instance, restart the device through recovery mode, uh, it would go back to being locked. So if we do it from here, we put or reset the device and erase everything. Once the process is finished, the device will then be fully unlocked. So, there we go. So this will take again a couple minutes and I'll be back once the reset is
Okay, there we go. So, this regard the fact that I was pressing the power key there. I wasn't sure if I'd already finished it or not. So, once you are on the home screen, you can simply go to the setup process of the device as though this device would be new. So, everything is now optional. Skipping network is possible. We don't have to uh, do any kind of tricking of the device to finish the setup. We can just simply go through it normally. Now again, I'm skipping most of the stuff just to save on time, but feel free to add any kind of protections, Google accounts, connect to Wi-Fi, whatever you want will work as intended. And there we go. As you can see, we're now on the home screen. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.